Hello, YouTube world. Now, I know you asked me to stop doing this stuff. Yelling, yelling at my family. I thought I could, but I made that call already. Made the call. Why? Because, of course, I still haven't gotten my stimulus check from the government. It is June 1st. I don't know how the summer's going to go. I haven't been working right to COVID. Everyone's just been saying it's my fault. That's fine. But my mama wrote me a letter to explain that I can't. That first she wrote, I love you. I will always be there for you. Now, I had to tell her, I hate that. I told her my last ex, she said that I'll have your back. I love you. I will always be there for you. And it didn't work. So I don't believe this through my own parents, my own family. But I must tell you, this is her letter again, you some rules. She's going to give me some rules after I've been shouting. I'm a punk. I don't want the rules. It's not going to work here. The rules. I kept telling Nina, this politeness, this thing that she says is super important. It's not for me to help me. Now, both of you said that you need to act this way for survival mode. And I'm saying Nina is happily married. She doesn't need to get into that survival mode. And you are right. Happily unmarried. Now, you're not with the guy, John, who has you in survival mode. But I am. He's in my head. I'm getting mad at you. I'm yelling at you guys. I'm swearing. I'm calling you names for not being there. I don't want you to apologize back then. I want you to stop living by the same old rules. Now you wrote, the rules are because of your health. Mama, when I am going through crazy health, every time I speak to you, you do not take me seriously just like the upstairs neighbors did not. And just like you, Nina, and maybe even Ken, when you were talking to me about these neighbors, you weren't getting it. Itzik didn't either. Itzik, if you tore up your floors, I could call the HOA right now and say, that's illegal. You know that. Now they're going to say, they're going to be nice. They're going to be like, well, it's a two-story. He owns the whole thing. Well, mine is not. Mine's a one-story. I don't own the top of me and that's that new people they came in they tore up a floor that's completely illegal and it's sick because he did it too and he's on the board he's not going to mention that they shouldn't have had two lexuses nina mama started to explain to me about the income there's a low income thing no alex the guy used to like me he's christian i ran away yelling not ran away walked away saying alex they are wrong i'm I cannot sell my place to somebody and pretend that those sounds aren't happening. I'm going to point it out. I cannot live if I sell it to someone and they find out how terrible and unlivable it is. But he doesn't live in my situation. Nina, you don't live in my situation. Mama doesn't live in my situation. Kent doesn't live in my situation. They don't even live in the situation because they tore up the floor. I didn't. They lowered the floor. I didn't. I explained that it's on top of an old air vent that doesn't work. Alex said, yes, he knew already. He knew how that place is. He knows what the neighbors have done. It seems like everyone knows what the neighbors have done. And it seems like mama knows what Ford has done with the car, but they don't want me to do anything. They want me to keep doing it their way. And I'm telling her, but the car, they, 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 they sold us like the, this new motor and I'm telling you, it doesn't even run. I can tell it doesn't run like when it was new. It doesn't even idle correctly. None of the gauges work anymore. It's all these fake gauges. I liked it before when they were real. Now, I don't know what they just for show. It, you hear how all this rattling? It's been like that since I've had it. I brought it in. They said it wasn't covered by the warranty. It would cost all this much more money. They had already taken all the cash. They sent me back to Chase, right? Chase didn't want to do it for a dollar. Something like that. A hundred dollars. They, they made a big deal over something. While telling me that Nina has given me all her money if she dies. And me looking at this person going, you can't be telling me this news. I mean, it doesn't matter that that's, that's kind of sweet. But no, now I feel guilty don't want to be there but i know that illegally it was illegal that the bank person said that and they didn't need to they were just in shock they looked at me and go nobody in my family would do that i know but maybe if i'm dying 
you know, when you're dying, clerk, they will come to save you. We're here. They're going to give me rules so I can be in their program. No way. Family Bodnars, whoever was connected to a Bodnar or had this man's private parts close to you, Bodnar. Yeah, you're lucky. I'm not sending this to you. I'm just sending this out onto the web. You dudes, start treating me different. I'm a Cryden. Remember that. Start remembering John Horton. I was with him alone much more than you were. And Mama nailed my window shut. And you want to say you're sorry for that. No way. Yell at her. Tell her why the hell did you do that. 